Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Simple Planes video. Today we are actually testing out something we checked out, I don't know, it must have been about two years ago. So, essentially this thing right here is a B-29. You guys can see it's a B-29 because of the front side, we've got the engines, we've got the wings, it looks like a B-29. However, this B-29 is special. It actually has a Parasite Fighter in its belly, which is called the XF-85 Goblin. And, um, yeah, today we're going to be taking off. We're going to be flying, we're going to detach the goblin, and, uh, yeah, we're going to try and reattach it. So, that's how this is going to work. Uh, it might be interesting, it might not. Anyway, let's go ahead and take off and see how this goes. Alright, so we got our instruments on the screen, let's go ahead and get going. So, essentially, you push the trim forwards to actually fly this thing. Uh, and it should go and take off all by itself. Well, actually, we, we control the uh, the pitch, but that's okay. Anyway, we're going to continue. Uh, we are going to take off. It's going to be great. And there we go. We're actually in the sky. That is awesome. So the landing gear comes up with G. That seems to make sense. There we go. Awesome sauce. Uh, we then go ahead and we press something like... Well, actually, we need to, a little bit of trim. There we go. A little bit of flaps. There we go. Uh, that's awesome. And then we do actually have some controls for this. So essentially... Uh, we need to go ahead and press 6. There we go, that lowers the rack down. Awesome sauce, that is so cool. Uh, then we go ahead and we press 7, which unlocks the fighter controls, and locks all of the, uh, the B-29 controls. So there we go, awesome. I think the jet engine turns on with, with 8. So, oh, does it? I don't know. Is this how it works? Okay, you ready? We've thrilled up a little bit, that makes sense. And then we press 8, and that unhooks us. And off we go. We can now fly the little parasite fighter. That is awesome. Yeah, pew, pew, pew. So the thing that's actually challenging about this is that landing the parasite fighter is extremely difficult. Uh, obviously, it is a jet plane, and the, uh, the B-29 is a propeller, obviously. Um, where is it? <laughs> I don't even know where it is. It's miles behind us. Okay, so... Um, obviously we could detach, we could go shoot something down, and then we could go and attach back onto the B-29. Uh, and that was the whole point of this thing, so... Yeah, kind of interesting. Uh, but anyway, how do I, like, up the hook? Oh, there we go, there's the hook right there. Awesome, so, we can actually use the hook to hook back on, attach back on, and then, I don't know, dock it back up again. That's, that's the whole point of today's video, so let's see if we can do it. Alright, so we're actually getting very close here. Let's go ahead and continue up. This is, uh, this is gonna make a lot of sense, I think. Yes, okay. Uh, that thing is traveling at full speed, so, um, we don't have to worry about that going faster. We have to worry about us going slower. That's essentially how it works. So, we're gonna go up as much as we can. We're gonna get very close behind it. We're gonna hook ourselves on and, and hope for the best. Now, it's gonna be kind of difficult, not gonna lie. But, uh, we got this. We totally got this. Yeah, I hope we do anyway. I managed to do it before, if I remember correctly, but it took some time, so let's go ahead and slow ourselves down quite a lot. There we go. Alright, awesome. Get ourselves up behind it. Okay. This is slowly making sense. Yes. Oh, a little bit of lag there. That's alright though. Okay. And this is why they didn't do it. In real life, this is why they end up didn't use it. Did, oh, which one am I hooking to? Not there. I've hooked to the wrong place. <laughs> I've hooked to the wrong place. No! Ah! Whoa! Okay, right. That's why they didn't they didn't end up using anything like this because it's so dangerous. It is incredibly dangerous. All right, I need to figure out what kind of speed actually matches the B29. Because that is what's going to allow us to attach onto it and be okay. Here we go. That was actually perfect. Almost. Almost perfect. So now what do we press? We press 7. There we go. The, the thing comes down. Our wings fold up. Alright. Awesome. This is way quicker than I thought it was going to be. And then what do we do? We press 6. And that will pull us back in. And we've been retrieved. By the flying aircraft carrier. That is awesome. We did it. We actually did it. Successful mission. Okay, well, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and land ourselves on Wright Airport. 
or at least right airport island thingamabobby over here. Um, and yeah, we did it. That's awesome. That is actually so cool. I've just been lowering it down and lifting it back up again, and it's just awesome. So I really like that thing. Anyway, we do need to press some buttons in order to actually get this thing working again, because um, we don't have any... Oh, no, we do. We've got full control over the B-29 now. All right, awesome. So yeah, our plan has actually worked. We took off. We, we actually ended up dropping this thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then we ended up retrieving it again midair. That is fantastic, and it didn't even take very long. We obviously had one miss attempt. It didn't really work too well. But then we did it again, and uh, perfect. Although not really perfect, because look what it's doing now. It might end up destroying itself, but that's okay. All right, so we are bouncing a little bit because the actual uh, the vehicle itself is bouncing quite a lot. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to press... Oh, no, seven. Six. I'm going to press six. It's going to lower it down, uh, and hopefully it has a better time when it's outside of the plane. I'm going to put our landing gear down... <laughs> Okay, there we go. Awesome. Uh, and then as soon as we come into land, we're gonna go ahead and uh, We're gonna pull it back in and we're gonna land like that It just allows us to be a little bit less wobbly when we're going in for a landing. Okay, this doesn't make any sense But this is what's happening. So there you go All right, I've slowed the main plane down a lot as you guys can see on the right hand side. This is the throttle for it uh, We're gonna go ahead and pull this back in now. So press six and that should start lifting it back in which is awesome uh, and then hopefully it stops wobbling so much because I don't know how I'm actually gonna land this plane if I'm honest We've got issues. We are bouncing <laughs> We're actually bouncing what in the world? All right, there we go drop that to zero Pull up. Oh god bounced Jeez Louise. This is like oh god. All right. We're gonna still commit to landing. We're committing to the landing For some reason why are we doing that? I don't know we're not committing to the landing. We're gonna go to right airport instead. It's easier. Also, it stopped bouncing now. Amazing. All right, I've just changed the graphic settings and uh, it just seems a lot darker. I'm not entirely sure why this game's, I don't know, it's feeling very dark at the moment, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and land anyway, because we can and hopefully everything goes well. Oh God, okay, it started wobbling again. I'm not entirely sure why this happens, but um, yeah, the actual, the little goblin plane is, is waggling around a little bit again. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop our throttle down to pretty much zero uh, And then as soon as we get in there, we're gonna drop it to zero and we're just gonna glide in for a landing cuz that's how it should work I think here we go ready. We're gliding in Oh god, we're bouncing we're bouncing we get too much lift We get too much lift as soon as we touch the, the runway. We just fly again. All right, break! Flare it and everything. Oh god, no, it's not working. Rip, rippers. All right, hold on, press six. Press seven. No. Press eight. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I tried to abort landing. Oh, look at it, it's actually gonna land itself in the water. Oh god, okay, press G. Okay, press six. There we go, we're lifting it back in, uh, and it pretty much automatically lands itself. That's interesting. All right, well, anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video here. Of course, it is a short video, but uh, it was actually kind of a fun one. So if you guys do want to use this creation, it will be linked down below. Uh, and yeah, if you guys have any fun ideas for me, I will, uh, I'll read them in the comments down below. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.